Hello everyone, today's video I'm going to be talking to you about solo ads and why I think they can be really dangerous if you're a beginner and if I'm honest I'd say that you'd want to avoid them at all costs when you're first starting out. Um, there's a number of reasons and I'm going to go through them with you uh, in a second. You know, first of which is uh, you know, they can be a really unreliable traffic source. The, the quality of the traffic itself can be really low as you're never sure where the vendors actually manage to get those leads from. Um, if you do produce a list, then the list is probably going to be really, un, you know, unresponsive. And if it's an unresponsive list, then you know it's not going to make you any money in the long term. It can be a really unstable growth method. It's very much like a roller coaster, depending on the solo ad vendor and the quality of the list. And if you, you don't know that, you could just be pouring money down a drain. Um, so for that reason, you know, solo ads can be really expensive. There's a number of reasons why it can be really expensive, but you know, the main one is if you're new, you don't know what to do with any list, and that's you know, that's the whole point of growing an email list in the first instance and being able to you know give value up front, grow and build a, a bit of trust and things like that. If you don't know how to do those things, then it's it's going to be a pointless exercise. And lastly, there's no relationship building. Again, I just touched on the point before. You know, these people don't know you, so you're just going to rent an email, send a list, send a, a, an, an email out to people that don't know you from Adam, and expect them to buy. Um, it doesn't work like that. Just put it down to your own experience. How many times have you bought something that someone sent you an email for that you didn't know? I'm pretty sure there's going to be a big no. So my name's Sean Elmore, I'm from Affiliate Income Hero and I provide helpful tips, strategies, reviews and information on all things affiliate marketing um, in order to help you grow your online business. So if you are relatively new or you're lost and you're not sure where you're going with your online business and you're looking to build one, you know, an honest one, um, then please click the link in the description below and you'll be taken to, you know, a beginner friendly formula that I use and um, you can use to help you get on the right path from today um, and if you don't mind I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when I release new content so you're relatively new to affiliate marketing you've got a product to promote and you don't fancy doing things like blogging or SEO building a website so link building content writing and then waiting for Google to finally index you and you've come across solo ads and you've heard how easy it is um, it's just as simple as you buying a, a bunch of clicks and then you'll make money. Um, it doesn't work like that and this is the problem if you're new and I'm sure you wasn't expecting me to say that um, satellites actually do work bearing in mind the title of the video but they do um, but only if you know what you're doing. Um, if you don't know how to do th all the things in the back end and in terms of content writing uh, you know you're never going to show a genuine return on investment because if you don't know how to build a relationship, you don't know how to be giving valuable content up front, and if you knew, you probably aren't going to have any valuable content to give, um, then you're not going to make money using solo ads. It, it's as simple as that. So if you if you have no idea how to do all the stuff behind, you know, having an email list, then you're just throwing money. You're just throwing money away, and it's going to drain your bank account. So let's have a look at it in a bit more detail. But before I do that, some of you may have an idea of what solo ads are, but you're not 100% sure. So solo ads are a popular way for internet marketers to get their message out to a large number of targeted prospects for a cost. The basic idea is you find someone that owns a large list, so you can go to places like Udemy, and then um, find people that have niche-related subscribers for your market, and then you rent. You rent their list by paying them to send an email that you've written to those subscribers. So it sounds great, but as I said, the traffic itself can be really unreliable and so can the vendors. So the vendor themselves may have um, great sales copy and they'll tell you how great the, the open rates are, the sign up rates, but you don't know him and you don't know how he's got his traffic and his leads. You know, how's he incentivized them to get on the list in the first place? There's no guarantees these leads are really interested in any offer. They may have just signed up with the vendor because they got something for free. Um, the problem is that you have no idea of the source or reliability and it's a gamble. Um, the vendor may send multiple offers to that list as well. Um, so if they get three offers in a day and yours goes out and it's number three in that list, um, they're going to be blinded with offers to the point where yours just goes unnoticed and gets deleted. So it's just been a wasted effort. If you do manage to build a list, it can be really unresponsive. Um, at the end of the day, 
using solo ads is probably, you know, without sounding rude, it's a lazy way to build a list. Um, and once you have those names on your list, they don't know you. And uh, your email goes out to them and it just pops up in their email box. Um, or worse yet, if they use a fake email that they gave to get the free offer in the first instance, um, they don't even see your email. So if your email, um, it probably isn't, just isn't going to get read. And if it does get read, then they don't know you as you've not built up a relationship or given any value. So it'll probably get deleted. So again, you know, the list is going to be unresponsive. So maybe you do get some signups. Let's just say you have got some signups and you have a few people on your list. You know, what do you do with that list? And, you know, if you're new to internet marketing, I'm, you're probably thinking, well, I know I'll send more offers. I'll go ClickBank, get an offer. I'll send my link to that list. And um, you just email them again. Um, bear in mind, you know, you don't know how this vendor's built his list, but now you're going to send your email with your name, your face, um, to that list of people that don't know you. So you've got to be really careful because at the end of the day, that they could consider that a spam and that's not what you want. And again, they'll just delete your email uh, or even worse than that, they'll report you to your, um, your email autoresponder and then they'll get your account closed. Um, it can be an unstable growth method. Um, there's lots of reasons it's a gamble. When the solo vendor sends your message out to his list, um, you might be lucky on your first broadcast and get a good response, even made some sales, giving you a false sense of security and confidence in that provider. So you think, okay, great, I've made X amount of money on sending this much traffic. I'm gonna double down this time and spend twice as much and you up the ante. And then the second time around, you get no sales at all. You know, but why? The vendor may have run a promotion that meant that on your last run, he had a fresh batch of new subscribers. So you just got lucky, you know, and you can't account for that kind of roller coaster performance. So you can't plan anything with any real consistency. It's just very unreliable. Um, you know, how often has he mailed his list, like I said earlier, and with what type of offers, depending on how the list was built in the first place, may determine which offers will convert better. Um, and you don't know that. You can ask the vendor um, to tell you if, if your offer you know, does tick all the boxes or if it doesn't. Um, but will he tell you that? After all, he wants you just to buy the emails and he'll tell you that this, based on my last six months, these are the opt-ins and this is the average um, click-through kind of thing. So, you know, you, you just don't know. It's an unstable way of building a business. Um, they can be expensive. Um, not only is it, you know, probably a low opt-in rate, uh, but the list itself is going to be unresponsive, like we said. So let's just say, for example, you, you send out a thousand um, emails. Uh, you may get, say, 300 people that click the link. And from there, you may get 100 or 150 that actually put their email in. Um, so it sounds great, but they don't know you. So when you email them and they see an email from Steve from Utah suggesting they get into marketing and they're talking about how important it is to build relationships and how they need to do X, Y, Z, uh, they'll just ignore or delete the email um, because at the end of the day, that you know they don't they don't know you and you're telling them you, you, they need to be building trust and building relationships. Um, also, what was the user intent for the person in the first place getting on that vendor's list? What if what they were offering doesn't match what you know what you're offering or you know what you want them to be involved in so you've got to be careful uh, that's why it can be so you know so expensive as i said beginners don't know what to do with that list how do you build a relationship and so on what do you do with them uh, you just spam them more and then they end up leaving your list so if you're new to affiliate marketing let me ask you this one question if i said to you i'll give you a list of 500 buyers these people have been proven to buy in the past what would you do with them? How would you plan your marketing strategy? How often would you mail them and with what? You see, this is the problem. If you don't know how to build a relationship, lead them through some kind of funnel and build up that, you know, build that trust, um, then the 500 buyers on that list is just a list of names. So in other words, it's a waste of money because you, you need to learn how to do the basics before trying anything like this. That's why this is dangerous if you're new. And like I said, I'm not saying solo ads don't work because they do. And lastly, no relationship building. Now, I've touched on this in, in some way all the way through this thread, but you know, you you haven't built a relationship. You've just sent an email. So let's say that when one of these um, solo ads, so one of these 
subscribers of this solo vendor does opt into your list, how do you know they haven't used a fake email address? Um, they've entered their email address knowing that they're going to get something for free. Um, so they've probably used, they, they could well have used a fake email because they know that once they put their email in, they're going to get lots of other offers that they, they're not really interested in. And let me ask you this question. How many times have you done this? How many times have you put a fake email in just to get something that you thought well, might sound of interest or be something you want to have a look at? And this is my point. So even if you've, even if they've used a genuine email, they don't really know you. So how can they like, and more importantly, how can they trust you enough to go ahead and click through to your offer and ultimately buy? Um, so unless the offer is really, really low and cheap, they may well just do it because they think, well, what's five dollars or whatever. But many of these people on these lists are serial offenders. They fill out surveys for just, or they'll just enter the email address for some financial incentive, and they'll do this over and over and over again. And they're never going to spend any money. So you need to be able to um, filter the wheat from the chaff when you're doing this kind of thing. And if you haven't got the basic skills behind you to do that, then it's just a waste of money. All these people want is that free offer. They're tie kickers and a waste of your time and a waste of your money. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and I hope you understand you know, why you need to be more informed before getting your credit card out. Now, solo ads can work, as I said before, but you need some you know, foundational, you know, fundamental knowledge of what to do with them to ever see a return on investment. So I appreciate um, you watching today. And if you found some value in the video, um, please like, subscribe and share the video and hit the notification bell. And if you, you know, if you are looking to learn the basics of affiliate marketing and how to do it properly, so, you know, you can start making money online, please consider clicking the link in my description to follow the same thing that I do on a daily basis and um, you know if if you do have any questions please leave a comment in below, below and I'll do my best to answer them and um, I appreciate you taking your time today and I will see you soon